Learn how to draw a perfect cube in one-point perspective in five minutes. First, draw the horizon line. Next, choose a vanishing point. Next, choose a point on the horizon line away from the vanishing point at any distance. This is our diagonal vanishing point. Draw a perfect square. Draw lines from the corners of the square to the vanishing point. Draw another line from one corner of the square to the diagonal vanishing point. The point where the lines cross is the back of our cube. Connect the lines, and bam, we've just drawn a perfect cube in one-point perspective. Okay, I've told you how it works. Here's why it works. To help us understand, we need four things. One, a viewpoint. This is the eyeball of the person looking at the scene. Two, a ground plane. This is the ground the viewer is standing on. Three, an image plane. This is the flat surface we're drawing on. And four, a subject. This is the object we're drawing. In one point perspective, the viewpoint and subject are both facing perpendicular to the image plane. The distance between the viewpoint and image plane is called the viewing distance. The distance from the ground plane to the viewpoint is called the viewing height. In this example, the cube is located at the image plane. Next, we need to find the ground line and horizon line. The ground line is the intersection between the ground plane and image plane. The horizon line is the height of our viewer from the ground plane to the viewpoint, which we'd find earlier as the viewing height. The direction of view is the direction our viewpoint is pointing. Next, we need to find our vanishing point. What I'm about to say next is key to understanding and setting up linear perspective for your own drawings. When the direction of view is parallel to any line in our scene, the point where the direction of view intersects the image plane is the vanishing point for the line and any line parallel to that line. This is important because if we make the direction of view parallel to any line in our scene, whether the line is pointing up, down, left, or right, or any other angle, then we can find that line's vanishing point. This allows us to find any vanishing point, including the vanishing points for one, two, and three point perspective, which we'll cover in other videos. It allows us to rotate objects in any direction, mix perspectives together in the same scene, and loads of other great stuff. Later in the video, I'll show how we can use this method to locate horizontal and vertical vanishing points. We found one vanishing point, but what about the vanishing point for these lines, which are parallel to the image plane? When the direction of view is parallel to the image plane, our direction of view points to infinity and never hits the image plane. That means all lines parallel to this line have no vanishing point and don't converge. Let's fold our top view into the image plane so that we can do all of our work on the image plane. Draw receding lines from the corners of our square to the vanishing point. To find out how deep our perfect cube is, we need a new vanishing point called the 45 degree diagonal vanishing point. Why 45 degrees? Because the diagonal of a perfect square is exactly 45 degrees. That means if we cross two parallel lines with a 45 degree diagonal line and connect the intersections, we get a perfect square. Again, when the direction of view is parallel to any line in our scene, we get the vanishing point for that line. If we look parallel to this square's 45 degree diagonal, the point where the direction of view intersects the image plane is the vanishing point for this diagonal line, and all lines parallel to it. To make sure the angle is 45 degrees without using a protractor or, or formal method of measuring it, draw a point on our horizon line the same length as our viewing distance. That makes this a 45 degree angle because a 90 degree triangle with two equal sides is also an isosceles triangle, which means that both of these angles are 45 degrees, just like a perfect square. We now have our horizontal 45 degree diagonal vanishing point. Draw a receding line from one edge of our cube to the horizontal diagonal vanishing point. The intersection of these two lines gives us the exact depth of our perfect cube. Connect the rest of the points and BAM! Another perfect cube in one point perspective. But wait, there's more. We found the horizontal 45 degree diagonal vanishing point for horizontal squares. Now, let's find the vertical diagonal vanishing point for vertical squares. If we look at our scene from the side, we see the direction of view is parallel to the ground plane. Let's make a second direction of view parallel to the diagonal of our cube to get the vertical diagonal vanishing point. The vertical diagonal vanishing point is located where the direction of view intersects the image plane. From the front view, we can see the vertical diagonal vanishing point uh, directly above the central vanishing point. If we draw a line through these two points, we get a vertical vanishing line. Now we can draw a perfect vertical square. 
Bonus, if we draw a circle around the center of you using the viewing distance as our radius, we get a 90 degree circle of vision, which automatically gives us all of the diagonal vanishing points for our scene. If we rotate the vertical and horizontal vanishing lines, the intersections on the 90 degree circle of view gives us a new set of diagonal vanishing points. And now we have a perfect cube tilted in one point perspective. That's it, that's all. This is John Lee. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.